I was going to bring out this video after the 23rd of June and I thought, what's the point? You're going to say, well, what's so important about the 23rd of June? Well, if you don't know, the UK have got the right to vote to either stay in the EU or come out. To be honest, out here, the expats haven't been really given a lot of information other than we know if we do come out, we're going to have to support our own health. But to me, it doesn't really matter because I'm not a retirement age yet. I wouldn't get my entitlement to free health here out in Spain until I'm 66. So I'm paying for mine anyway. So staying in, staying out, you know, made a lot of difference to me. And I don't want to hype on about it. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the people in power and the people with money they ain't gonna let this happen. We'll be staying in the EU. And that's it on that. I don't want to go on about it. <laughs>We've been here six months. I just want to state from the right from the beginning that it's still the best decision I've ever made. Just loving it. Main reason why we've come to Spain wasn't to do with having our own property, cost of living is a lot, lot lower, um, the way of life's much more easier. Nothing to do with that. It's all to do with the weather. To me, waking up in the morning, looking out the window and seeing that thing popping up just makes my day just give you a quick cap on um, what we've been up to over the six months just in case you haven't been watching my living in spain videos week before christmas we had sold our home in the uk and we moved out here we come down in the car the dog the bird my wife and me rented a property three months in campusol which is in the costa Calida, just outside mazaron area by january we'd seen our new home we put a deposit down by february we got the keys to the door we moved in march we had all our stuff in the uk turn up we were settled in then we'd um unpacked it all we still got stuff down in the basement as we call it um that we still haven't all unpacked completely yet so april may both the wife and i had uk cars because we bought one down with us a right-hand drive car i'd gone back drove it back and sold it my wife flew back because we kept another car back in the UK that we was going to keep when we make our return trips to the UK and we just thought oh, we'll just get rid of it. So she sold those, sorted out our insurances, uh, obviously our health insurance, that's in a previous video. Um, we got our building, obviously our car insurance, all that sort of, we got our own Spanish bank account, we've got our mobile phones pay to go for Spain. We're learning about how to keep our swimming pool nice and clean. Sort of May, June, our main things really now is since we've been here, uh, we've made friends, we've joined groups, I've joined the photography group. Other videos that I do, you know that I go out with Steve, so we, we go drone flying, but we take the wives with us and we do a bit of flying, we have coffee, we have a meal, so it makes the whole day more interesting. Jan's my wife, she's joined the Keep Fit Club on a Monday, she's joined a bowling club for uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, which she really enjoys. And also, there's a more of a community spirit here, because I think what it is, us expats have to stick together and help each other, which I like, because back in the UK, we had none of this. Uh, it was more, you had to survive on ourselves, really. But we're, we've made so I've made, me personally, I've made more friends here than I ever did back in the UK. We go out is group sometimes, especially um, tasting and exploring new restaurants. Um, and we've, we've been out to the bigger cities now to find more out about the history. There's museums that we can go into. We, we've been to quite a few museums now. We go out a lot more exploring. And, and with this fantastic weather, you know, I just can't believe it. I mean, where we live, we've got numerous Facebook pages. So any of us have got a query we can just uh, go onto that Facebook page and um, usually within half an hour we got three or four replies and they're all positive replies which is good as you can see already I mean it's just gone seven in the morning yet another sunny day I mean we do get cloudy days that it starts off maybe starts a bit cloudy but as the day goes on just blue sky I'm going out again today we don't know I mean the wife where the week goes it goes so quickly in May and June the weather's obviously heated up a bit more it's like you opening the oven door and you're feeling that heat as you walk into it so we've had to change our pattern slightly 
um, mainly because you have to really because even even walking the dog we used to go out about nine well that, that's too late now I'm getting up about half six just before seven so me and Bonnie can go out because we, we do about an hour's walk anyway and then in the evening just before the sun's going down about half eight probably even late as nine o'clock now we go out for our last walk during the daytime poor little thing she would collapse because the pavements get so hot she would burn her paws and, not, and it's the same for not for us we wouldn't burn our paws but it's the same for us when we go out now we have to go out quite early really when i go out with steve and the wife's we go out about eight o'clock in the morning we usually have uh, a cup of coffee about nine ish and we do a bit of flying and we try and get it all done before midday for our so we can go back and have a quick meal. Midday here, it gets so hot, and if you're not carrying water, you know, we carry water with us, but you can only carry so much water with you before uh, you run out of water, and you can over overheat yourself. So I can understand this siesta thing in the afternoon, because most places here open early, open about eight, nine o'clock in the morning, and they shut at two, and they reopen again about four or five o'clock in the afternoon to about eight, nine. Your whole pattern's changed getting into that, um, we haven't got used to that. We've been out a few times in out to the city where we got down to the city about 11 o'clock in the morning. We've done a bit of walking around and we get so exhausting. Um, you, you just can't help but go into a cafe to have a drink. Just take it easy, which is it's what it's all about, taking it easy. Want to keep you up to date with what we're up to. We've still got, I'll say, two more months temperature going up. I mean, it's been up in the 40s now. It's probably going to go up a little, little bit more than that at the moment and um, we've got the egg we've started to use the air conditioning we've got the fans going most days now i think most nights we've got the fan going the ceiling fan going now we tend to use the air conditioning not a lot at the moment just to put a bit of a chill in the room i'm sure in the next month or so the air conditioning will be on a lot more one other thing before i finish learning spanish we're still not we haven't gone to any lesson. We've been to one lesson, sorry. We've been to one lesson and it was all about grammar. It seems to be that's the, the important thing about learning any language really to understand the grammar, which I didn't really think about, but which is true. We are picking up words. Jan's picking up a lot more quicker than me. Um, our friends, obviously, some of our friends have been here a lot longer than us and they can speak really good Spanish. Because when we go out, they don't speak much English and don't expect them to speak English when you go into the big shops and that. They very, some of them speak very little English. Some of them don't speak English. Um, if you come up to them and you say, oh, can you speak English? Um, so that's a, a big must coming out here in Spain that you've got to learn to speak Spanish, even to understand it. I mean, I've, that's what I'm liking about it. when we're going out a lot more now. We, we I'm picking up words now that um, I understand. So yeah, it's a it's a big must if you're thinking about moving to Spain. That learning Spanish is going to make life a lot easier for you. Hope you enjoyed that. Finish the walk now with the dog. Have a great time, and watch the next one. Just before the video finishes, if there's any questions you want to ask me, please do. I'll try and answer them. That's what I'm here for. I'm living it, I'm living the dream, so uh, please ask, I'm always, I always answer any comments anyway, so, uh, so, until next time, <laughs> see you soon.